So the Swiss map NCCR was started in 2014 as a long-term project. Swiss government started the project of National Centers for Competence and Research. So there's centers for everything, there are in chemistry, in physics, in astronomy for exoplanets. Uh, and since the very beginning, uh, colleagues discussed whether we should do something similar in theoretical science. Uh, and uh, I think at one point we decided that it's more logical to do it not just for mathematics, but rather introduce something new, introduce this interaction between mathematics and theoretical physics. There is a lot of physical intuition you can use in mathematics. Uh, on the other hand, uh, there are many mathematical tools which can advance physics. So, for example, when quantum mechanics was introduced, the mathematical tools were already developed for different purposes. So the idea is to strengthen this interaction between uh, mathematics and physics and uh, also uh, that there is more interaction among the Swiss universities. So the uh, two host institutions for this are University of Geneva and uh, second in collaboration with Agnoshe uh, Technische Hochschule in Zurich. And essentially all Swiss universities participate, obviously the CERN, the Centre European for Research Nuclear. So I am a member of uh, Geometry, Topology and Physics uh, program. The main benefit uh, for development, in particular uh, Geometry and Topology, is um, linking it with all kinds of different projects, particularly those motivated by physics, um, with two other projects on Swiss map, uh, I, I would expect uh, more close and a kind of faster uh, collaboration. This would be string theory, field theory as well. Also statistical mechanics where perhaps even real algebraic geometry may interfere. Some possible links that uh, now just start to, to develop. And uh, also I think there should be a link with quantum system. I think the main part would be connecting different sub-projects of uh, Swiss map together. I've been very interested in the issue of thermalization of closed quantum systems, um, but in particular I've been very interested in how this impacts uh, black holes, or let's say our understanding of black holes. Uh, this in particular through the perspective of what we call holographic dualities, so we work, we work on uh, strongly coupled conformal field theories. In studying this, I've actually come across certain similar models that are lower dimensional, which happen to be models that have been actively studied by uh, some of my colleagues here in the mathematics department. So I'm hoping to pick their brains. I think it's a very interesting project because it put us in contact with our colleagues in a way that usual interactions among colleagues do not uh, give us. But what is nice about SwissMap is that it gives you a, a horizontal network of connections to other colleagues and to other people working in the same directions and actually encourages uh, collaboration and encourages common projects which make possible to enlarge enormously the, your goals and, and the techniques that you can use in your research and the problems that you want to address and so on. And also it makes us more aware of collective forces involved in doing mathematical physics in Switzerland. Communication, the joint projects, the joint conferences, the, uh, uh, the exchange of ideas enhances and uh, this is what makes the researchers of the network uh, successful. I would say that uh, educational part, in a very broad sense, is perhaps the most important. So we work uh, very well with public outreach, but uh, what perhaps is more spectacular is work with the school children. Uh, there is a program, Primes, and it's a research program for uh, school children. It has been run by MIT math department over 10 years in the United States. Now we are trying to do something similar in Europe and it has been successful so far. Then uh, we have a center which is called Mathoscope and it's like a small hands-on mathematics museum which a teacher can bring a class uh, there and then they get a lesson where they get some sort of experience of in interacting with the researchers who tell them about modern science. Uh, and then for the outreach we uh, also have a 
big collection of uh, videos of talks and it's on our website. It's, so there are really very good mini courses and lecture courses and uh, individual talks. Long-term goals are really foster interaction between mathematics and physics and between different Swiss universities. So for example, I myself in the framework of this start interaction with biologists, which was based on physics. They tried to describe how covering of a certain species of lizard came about. So it turned out that what we were able to describe that actually the way how this covering appears, it related to very complicated physics and mathematics. The long-term goal uh, is to somehow cement uh, this interaction between different areas, between different institutions, so that it continues. And a big sign of Swiss Map success uh, is that uh, six of its participants were invited to give talks at the ICM 2018 in Rio de Janeiro. It was Rahul Pandhripand who was invited for a plenary talk and five members who were invited for sectional talks. Renat Kashaev, Marina Vizovska, Hugo Diminiu Kupan, Benjamin Schlein and Thomas Wilwasher. So this I think is a real sign that we are doing very, very well in research.